So there, the numerator will become 1 and the denominator gets to the power of 9 minus 4. Okay, so 9, 4 gets subtracted in the denominator. So it will be 1 by x raised to the power of 5. Now these are the two laws of indices which you have already learned it in your lower classes. I am only revising it here. Okay. Next is the power law. What is the power law say? Third law. Okay, it's the third law. What is the power law say? Now, a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n is going to be a raised to the power of m into n, which is a raised to the power of m then. Okay, for example, x raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of 4 will be x raised to the power of 3 into 4, which is equal to x raised to the power of 2. Now, this is the power law. Okay. Now, next we are going to see uh, the other small, small things that you have to uh, know. Okay. Now, here they have shown uh, handling positive and fractional, negative and zero indices. Okay. Positive uh, numbers. Now, take for example, the first one in that is A is A into B. Okay, two different bases. Okay, when this is raised to the power of m, what will happen? Now, here this will be A raised to the power of m into B raised to the power of m. For example, x into y raised to the power of 2 will be x square into y square. Okay, this is one. Second thing that you will be having when it is a uh, quotient. Okay, now a by b raised to the power of m, what will happen? This will be a raised to the power of m by b raised to the power of m. For example, x raised x by y raised to the power of 3 will be x cube by y cube. Okay. Now, third one. When, whenever there is an nth root, okay, nth root of x, let's say, nth root of a. Now, this, this nth root will become a fraction in the index form. So, a raised to the power of 1 by n. Now, if I take an example of cube root of x, this will become x to the power of 1 by 3. Okay. Fourth one. Now, nth root of a raised to the power of m will be a raised to the power of m by n. I know this nth root will be in the denominator. So, the power of a will go to numerator. So, it will be like this. Now, same thing if it is um, fourth root of x to the power of 5. So, here it will be x to the power of 5 by 4. Okay. Now, fifth one here. Anything raised to the power of 0 will be 1. Now, 100 raised to the power of 0 will be 1. x raised to the power of 0 will be 1. And sixth one, anything raised to the power of 1 will be the number itself. Now, x raised to the power of 1 will be x. So, these are the things that you should remember um, when we are doing the sums, when we are doing the problems. Okay, children. So, I hope it is, it is easy to remember, but you need, to, you should learn how to apply all these things in your uh, problems given. Now, next we will be seeing how to solve uh, the equations. Okay. I'm going to do exercise 7 going to give you an uh, assignment sheet that you can apply all these formulas. I have given you example sums. You need to apply these formulas and try to fill in the blanks. Try to fill, fill up the blanks. And next I have given uh, a homework where whatever sums I am solving, based on it I am giving you sums. So uh, you learn what I am teaching you now and then you try to solve those sums. Okay. Let us see. Now, first is exercise 7. 
the first sum, which says evaluate. Evaluate. Okay. Now, first one is 3 raised to the power of 3 into 243 raised to the power of minus 2 by 3 into 9 raised to the power of minus 1 by 3. This is the problem that you need to evaluate. Now you see, here 3 is there. We will try to bring everything to the base, uh, same base. Okay. So here, let me take 3 raised to the power of 3 like that only. Equal to, don't forget to put this equal to, into. Now 243 is how many times 3. Now see here, I will just, because these numbers, cube roots and all, you should remember. When I come to the class, I will be teaching you all how to uh, remember all these cube numbers. Okay. Now see here, 3 3s are 9. 9 threes are 27. 27 threes are is 81. 81 threes are is 243. That means 3 to the power of 5 is 243. 3 to the power of 5 is 243. Okay. Now, what is 9? Nine? 9 is 3. 9 is 3 threes are. So, 3 square raised to the power of minus 1 by 3. If you don't know how to do this, you can even show prime factorization like this. Okay. 243. Now keep on dividing it. 81. 327 times 3. 9 times 3. 3 times and 3 once. See here 3. How many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 243 is 3 to the power of 5. You can even show like this. Okay. Now, it's better that you remember because it will be easy to complete your paper. Now, here what we are going to do is we are going to apply the power law. Okay. Apply power law. What does the power law say? A raised to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a raised to the power of n into m. So, that we are going to apply. So, this is 3 raised to the power of 3 into 3 raised to the power of 5 into minus 2 by 3 3 raised to the power of 2 into minus 1 by 3 so I have applied the power law now next we are going to apply the product law what does the product law say so first let me simplify these and so that next we can apply the product law so 3 raised to the power of 3 into 3 raised to the power of 5, 2's are 10. So, minus 10 by 3 into 3 raised to the power of plus into minus is minus 2, 1's are 2, 2 by 3. So, this is the power 3 raised to the power of 3, 3 raised to the power of minus 10 by 3, 3 raised to the power of minus 2 by 3. Now, this is it. Now, since the bases are same, okay, apply first law of indices. So what you will do, you will take a raised to the power of m into a raised to the power of m is equal to a raised to the power of m plus m. This is the law that you are going to take. Now here 3 you will write 3. Now here instead of plus you have plus into minus is minus. So minus 10 by 3 minus 2 by 3. Now this is the base. This is the base. Now the index is this. The power is this. Okay. So what we will do is we will take this in the working column and we will solve it. This is the working column. Okay. Now 3 by 1 minus 10 by 3 minus 2 by 3. Okay. Now here LCM will be 3. So multiply this by 3 and this will be 1 and 1 because 3 1s are 3. So this 3 3s three are 9. Minus 10 minus 2. So here minus 10 minus 2 will be minus 12. Okay by 3. So 12 minus 9 will be minus 3 because greater number sign is minus. Minus 3 by 3. 
Now this will be nothing but minus 1. So what will the power be? Minus 1. Now the result of this will be t raised to the power of minus 1. Now here we are going to apply uh, the inverse problem. That is, uh, uh, it, we, see whenever it is negative, I can bring it down. So a raised to the power of minus 1 can be written as 1 by a raised to a to the power of 1. Okay, like this. So here 3 raised to the power of minus 1 can be written as 1 by 3. Okay, so the answer here is 1 by 3. Okay, so this is the first sum.